Okay, in this video I'm going to take my Hutu Tripmate Titan and I'm going to set up what's called network attached storage. So I'm going to attach this <clears throat> to my router, my home network, via Ethernet cable. Then I'm going to take a hard drive and attach it to the Hutu via USB. What that's going to allow me to do is from any computer on my home internet, in the router, on my wireless, they can access the files that are located on this hard drive. So stay, stay tuned and hopefully we get this working. It should be pretty easy. So this is my rat's nest of a setup right now. So I have the Tripmate Titan right here. It's connected to the back of the router via the Ethernet output or input, whatever, connector. Then I have my Toshiba hard drive connected via USB. So this is just temporary but you can easily see that would be the setup. I'll put that under this table right here so that this hard drive doesn't get touched or anything. But that's going to be the setup I'll have on my network and allow me to connect to this two terabytes whenever I want to. Okay, now that we have everything hooked up, it's time to go to the Hutu website and we need to download this right here, at least for Windows. If you're on a Mac, download this. So download it, extract it, install it. It's very quick to install, and then this will pop up. So it's going to give you where it's going to find the device on your network. It's assigned it to an IP address, and you can just click on that. It's going to open up the screen you would normally get if you went to the 10.10.10.whatever, .10 and now you can update the settings and you can look at the files that are on the storage. So real quick, this is what you should do if you're just gonna use it as a network attached storage on your router. Just go in the network settings, go into Wi-Fi and LAN. I would change this password to something strong and then hide the, I, the SSID. What this gonna do is it's not gonna broadcast that it's a Wi-Fi network, so computers can't pick it up. Your neighbors aren't gonna be logging into your Hutu if you hide that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So turn that on, so you can see it right here. There's YouTube test, that's from another video I did. We'll save it and then that'll go away after it refreshes. That's the first thing you wanna do if you're just gonna be using it like that. If you're gonna be attaching or going into it as a Wi-Fi network, then of course you don't wanna do that. But if you're just gonna be using it so that you can access files from your side of your network, turn off the SSID. All right, this should go away shortly, but I'll show, we'll go to it when that happens. So now that we have that that way, we can go to the Explorer and Home, and you can just see how quick this is. So this was from a trip. You can kind of see look how quick that loaded. This is a GoPro video. It's 1080p. Very quick. Let's go ahead and close that. Now we should be able to... So I need to enter admin, I believe. Yes, so just enter the password that you would normally enter when you're going to just the trip mate. Just the admin, that's admin as a username, no password. That's the default, you can change that, of course. But now, from my Windows Explorer, Folder Explorer, I can access all of these. So I can go in there, and this is from that hard drive in the other room that you saw me hook up, I can open these files and see how quick it goes, if it even opens. There we go. So it took a second. It's still it's buffering a little bit. It's Windows 10. So there you go. I can delete these. I can do whatever I want. I can add to it and create a new folder. Test save that and then from here we'll let's go up and go back into it there's test I just created that we can see it so that's really how you do it um, if you were going to connect to it as if so say I had a question out there if you were just connecting it to to the Wi-Fi, you have no internet, all you care about is sharing these, then what you want to do 
is leave that SSID on. See, it's gone now. There it goes. So turn the SSID back on. YouTube test should come back. We can connect to it. Connected, secure. Okay. So in order to connect to this, we're going to close out of that, and then you're going to type in 10.10.10.254, no password, at least default, and now you can explore all the files because we're on the Wi-Fi YouTube test. That's the one that the Hutu is creating. It's being created by that. So we can go in and watch the videos. That's how you would do it just if you were going to be on this Wi-Fi, just so you can access the attached storage. Anybody on the Hutu can access this now. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and uh, please rate, subscribe. I'm going to do a lot of review videos, and I've been doing a lot on the Hutu. Hopefully I can get some more Hutu devices and do videos for every all of them. But thank you for watching.